Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Today we're going to talk about swing auger maintenance. So for most of you, harvest is probably close to done or very close to finished. Um, and it's just a good time of the year with some nice warm days to get your auger maintained and have it ready to go for next year. Or if you have some fertilizer to move this fall yet, um, you, you want that thing running at peak. So the first thing to do is take and blow everything off. Um, if you prefer, you can wash it all out. We of course started at the swing here, open up the cover, have a look in at the U-joints. There's two U-joints in there. Make sure that the Allen screws are tight, that they haven't slipped around. Check your, your transition flighting for wear because that's a fairly high wear item. Um, and then make sure that you grease everything in there. From there, move back into your hopper. Um, on the end of the two augers, there are either bearings that need grease or bushings. If you have bushings, um, make sure before you grease them that you check to see what the wear is like. You can just take the screen off and grab on the auger and wiggle it and you can get a pretty good idea. If they're extremely worn, it's probably a good idea to replace those bushings. It takes so much load off of the drive end if, if the other end is running nice and free. Grease that all up, then move down to the far end and take the cover off, check the bearings there and mostly check the chains to make sure that they're snug enough. Give everything a good greasing, put the covers back on and then you've got your swing hopper taken care of then we'll go up to the head end and look after the gearboxes up there. So down on the head end of the swing, what you wanna do is you wanna take the cover off. You wanna make sure that the oil levels are up on those gearboxes because we've seen an exceptional number of gearboxes blow up this year from low oil. Um, you wanna have a look and, and look at the, the seal surfaces and make sure that there's nothing leaking there and that's usually what happens is it's a slow leak. The oil leaks out over time and then the auger gets run and the gearbox kind of eats itself. Um, so check the oil on the top gearbox, check it on the bottom gearbox. The bottom gearbox also has a spline shaft in there that you should, should look, you can normally put a pipe wrench onto this shaft and turn it and you can check that spline for wear. Um, if it's extremely worn, you probably want to look at replacing the U-joint and either the, the shaft in the gearbox or the whole gearbox. Um, there is also a grease nipple on the top of there that a lot of people miss. It lubricates that top bearing on the bottom gearbox because there isn't enough oil to splash up into that bearing. So very important that you grease that one. Um, Blow everything out, so open your covers up, blow everything out, get everything out of there so that there isn't a bunch of rotten product that's accumulating moisture. Grease your bottom bearing, check your chain, or if you have an HP auger, make sure that you check that gearbox oil level. Of course, there's a bearing up on the top that needs to be greased. And the very last thing that you want to check is take your PTO shaft and pull it off and you want to check and see that the balls are still intact on the CV joint. A lot of people end up breaking their shaft because you actually should unhook it from bin to bin when you move from bin to bin. I know that's an unrealistic expectation and not very many people do, but if you have that auger up in the air and you make any kind of a turn, a lot of times it loads the balls in the CV and breaks them and then you have a shaft that's flopping and you get a vibration and it'll either break the end of the shaft off the auger or destroy everything in this area. So have a look at that, give everything a shot of grease, put it back together and you should be ready for trouble-free operation. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.